In this video, we are going to discuss the modified internal rate of return. The advantage of the modified internal rate of return is like a net present value calculation, it gives the correct, accept, reject criteria. Commonly, the internal rate of return gives an incorrect, accept, reject criteria. For our example, consider the following cash flows. We have cash flows in year zero of an initial investment in the project of $500 followed by cash flows in year one of 200, 300 in year two, 400 in year three, 500 in year four, and then a shutdown cost of $200 of a negative cash flow in year five. The interest rate in our example is 10%. So for the modified internal rate of return, first we have to accept a, a, a separate out the negative cash flows, which there are two, the $500 investment in year zero, and the $200 investment in year five. From the positive cash flows, which there is 200 in year one, 300 in year two, 400 in year three, and 500 in year four. We then find the present value of the costs and the future value of the profits. So for the two costs, to calculate the present value, the 500 in year zero does not need to be discounted by anything so it's merely 500, but the 200 in year five has to be discounted by one plus our interest rate of 10% to the fifth year. We add these two cash flows together and we get a present value of the cost of $624. For the future value of the profits, the 500 in year four sits in the bank for one year, the 400 sits in the bank for two years, the 300 sits in the bank for three years, and the 200 sits in the bank for four years. So when we do the calculation, we take our cash flow of 500 in year four, and we multiply it by one plus the interest rate. The cash flow of 400 the year before that in year three, again, sits in the bank for two years. So we take it and multiply it by one plus our interest rate of 10% squared. The cash flow before that, one plus the interest rate of 10% cubed, and the initial cash flow of 200 in year one is multiplied by one plus the interest rate of 10% to the fourth. We then get a future value of the profits of $1,726. When we finally do the modified internal rate of return calculation, we want to take the future value of the profits, divide it by the present value of the cost, take that to the power of one over the number of years, which is five, and subtract one. So as shown, we take 1,726 divided by 624 to the power of one over five minus one gives us a modified internal rate of return of 22%. So that means for this project, we are investing at a cost of capital of 10%, our project is making 22.5 or 22.6%. Our project is therefore profitable, and we would accept this project. If we did a net present value calculation with the same numbers, we should come up with a positive net present value. Thank you for watching this video.